Hello and welcome to my channel. So in my channel I've been reviewing the chestnut e-boards and today I'm going to review an electronic chessboard by Millennium. So that is a different entirely different company based in Germany and with this board that I have with me right now I'm going to discuss some features about this board that also stand out and also some things such as aesthetics the wooden material that we have with it and some kind of key features such as the LEDs that I always talk about in my videos. So the Millennium Chess Genius Exclusive by Millennium is an e-board that is modular. So what they have decided to do was manufacture boards that allow you to um, not only play chess but also uh, buy any additional units should you want to change the actual programs that are already embedded here inside this unit. If you want to play against a computer engine, these units have programs already pre-installed. So this is called the Chess Classics element. You can also get this separately. It is a very tough unit to beat and all of the, actually all of these units that come with the Millennium Chess Genius Exclusive are modular so you are, you are able to connect them via the, this connection. I don't know what you call it but this, this requires a pin, a pin wire, a pin cord so that you are able to connect it to the board via the side of the wooden e-board and play chess via, from this program. So if you are versing a computer, you can play against the engines already pre-installed in this unit. So this is the Chess Classics element. Later I will turn it on and give you a brief overview of this board and the unit. Additionally, there are other accessories you can purchase for the Chess Millennium Exclusive. So this is a power bank. Should you wish to play with this board anywhere in a cafe or a library and you are unable to find a power outlet, perhaps you are camping and you would like to play outdoors, you can use this and just connect it to the side of the board and play a game. Actually, you will need to connect this to either the either the brains of the computer, these chess classics elements units. When I got this board, I purchased the Millennium Chess Genius exclusive with this unit. So this is, this is already good enough should you wish to play against a computer engine. This already has pre-installed programs. And this is the Millennium Bluetooth Chess Link from Millennium. And this allows you to play online through chess.com or Lee Chess. So this is a separate unit that you need to attach to the e-board in order to play online. There is no built-in Bluetooth um, in, in this board, unlike the other modern chess computers that we can purchase nowadays. I have like reviewed the chestnut boards previously and those boards do have internals inside of, the, inside of them that allow you to connect via Bluetooth directly. However, for this board, since it is modular, you need to purchase these separately. So the Millennium Chess Link has these pins at the back. This is what you use to connect to the board. And this is the AC power socket that you insert here. So for this Millennium unit, this Bluetooth unit, you also can see the status and see if it's connected via Bluetooth. And you also have your power indicator there too. If you would like to connect this to the Millennium power bank as well, you have to like connect this cord to this cord. So this goes to this goes here, the power bank um, cord, you insert it in there and you use your pin link to connect to the board from the, this part, the rear side of this Bluetooth unit to the side of your Chess Genius Millennium exclusive board there. I have been using this board for a few years right now and it's one of my favorite boards that I have added to my collection. Since I loved playing with electronic e-boards, I've 
I've uh, also collected some chess boards from Chestnut and Millennium. And here are the pieces that come with the board. Here are what the knights look like. Pretty standard. These, these designs look similar to many of the e-boards that are out there right now. The only thing that I would will complain about this board is, is the fact that there are too many wirings around. So since it is a modular board, you will have to always connect many wires and they just the, the cores just kind of get in the, in the way and they are hassle. This is one of my complaints with this board. But since it is a modular board, we are able to connect different devices to this board should one of the devices break down and they no, no longer work, you don't have to like go and get it serviced, but you will just perhaps replace the units so that you can continue playing. And these pieces have RFID chips inside of them as well. They're under the felt. So these have green felt. So once you remove these felt, you can see the RFID chips under them. I have read that they last for a good 10 years out of the box. I haven't reached the 10 year mark yet, but I think they may still last longer than for 10 years. What I'll do now is show you a brief gameplay with this Chess Classics element unit. So once you turn it on, you are, you are directly playing a game. So you have you. Let me show you the options that are pre-installed with the Chess Classics element. So, so you can prompt the computer to move its piece should you wish to play as black. And here is hint, if you get stuck you can opt for this option. Should you get stuck and you're unsure of what to move, you can click on hint. The level. So for the level, you can choose normal. So this is the standard level that you will play against. So you can move in 10 seconds and so, so on. You have blitz as well. Find mate, shortest mate. So let's say if there are three moves that are, let that, let's say there are three moves that lead to a checkmate you can choose for that option, so, so the shortest mate possible. User defined, you can, you can um, customize it and choose your own kind of level setting. There's tournament level two, increments of three seconds each move. There's easy and fun. So what fun is? Well, this is an adaptive level so based on your level, if you're playing a game against a computer, if you perform blunders from time to time, or you play at a weaker level, it'll adjust its level accordingly so that you can play a more fun based game with the computer rather than playing against a tough engine. There's blitz as well, normal, okay. So you can save your game as well. Actually, when you turn it off, if you turn it off while playing in the middle of a game and you have your battery power bank still connected to this module unit, it'll continue from where, from where your current game. However, if you do actually unplug it, you turn it off and you unplug the power and you plug it back in for a new game, it'll it'll just forget about your previous game. So you may want to perhaps save your game here and then load it up to play again. Next best move, analysis. So if you want to study two player game, you can play with you can play with an opponent and it'll register its moves here and you can then export the PGN files. There's auto, so computer versus computer. If you want to verify your pieces, you can do so here. So if you are unsure about where those pieces should be placed, you can just pl place the pieces. You can just place the pieces. So these pieces again have RFID chips pre-installed in them, so you don't need to worry about that. 
it's easier to set up. And there's options here too. And you can invert board cable on the right. Yeah, Tudor, design, draw, style, sound. You can hear the beeps as I'm pushing these buttons. Contrast, LED brightness. I've got it set at, let me see. Yeah, I've got it set at the highest because I really like to see those LEDs pop out and see where I'm to place these pieces. So let's play a quick game. So here you can see the moves I've I've done. So five E four times D five. So this is white and black. I'll give you a close up view of the LEDs. So once you lift up a piece, you can see those four LEDs in each corner. So these LEDs flash each time you move, or when the computer moves its piece you can see where you are to place those pieces. So as I said that every piece has an RFID chip installed, what I'll do is put this pawn there and see it if, we'll, if the LEDs will go away. No. So it knows that it's not the knight. Here is the black knight. Okay. Now I'm in check. So I am to move my king what is also awesome about this with the LEDs is that you are able to see where those LEDs are because every, every dot that you see is in each corner of the square. So it's easier to find those LEDs when you move your pieces. And this board does not have annotations A to H and 1 to 8 on the sides. There are no annota annotations. But you can see those moves on the screen via the chess classic unit that we have here. This unit is actually not really uh, a necessary unit. If you do want to play online though, you will need the chess unit, the chess link unit that you can buy separately. Again, I just don't like the fact that there are cords everywhere. You see this it kind of looks messy. I am impressed by the power bank though. You can play for hours with this. So we'll turn it on first. You can see the LEDs. Now that it is on, it is looking for the connection. So I'll just use my mobile phone to connect it. We can go to the chess.com app. Now that I'm in the chess.com app, I'll just go to settings and select connected boards and scan. I'll look for my chessboard. There we are. It says Millennium Chess at the bottom. I'll just select that. Pair. And now it's connected. Click back. Go home. Okay, now that the Millennium Chess link is connected to my phone and providing information to the board. I will play an online game, 15 minute by 10 seconds. And we also have to ensure that the Millennium exclusive use connected board is toggled to the right. So we have to ensure that it's toggled on before we start a game, if we are to play with this board. So I'll just start a game. It will ensure that the board is connected and all pieces are aligned. If I take a piece out, 
it'll recognize it and it says please arrange the pieces so put the pieces back let me check the king and queen test there <laughs> you can see it recognizes that the pieces are not there so I'll put them back let's play And now I'm playing online with the board. So that's my review of the Millennium Chess Genius Exclusive by Millennium. I hope you enjoyed it and perhaps got some useful insights into this video. I will be making more further videos along the road, so please do tune in. Thanks for watching my video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.